So what I want to talk to you guys about now are what I call our face-off essentials. It's going to be, we're going to focus on taping your stick and the importance of that, your body and feet positioning, and your hand positioning. So for starters, you guys will see, I have the top part of my stick taped up for grip, because you want to get your hand as close as you can to the plastic. Again, no matter who you, go, who you are, how big you are, you're going to go against someone stronger than you, someone bigger than you. It's important to have every advantage you possibly can. Second thing I do is I put tape down here. I actually put my uh, pointy finger and my ring finger on both of those pieces of tape. What that does uh, is it gives me a little bit of grip on my lower hand, but it also makes me put my hands in the same spot every time so that people can't read me. The second other thing I want to show you guys is feet positioning. So what I do when I go to line up or when I teach guys to line up, I, you don't necessarily need to do this every time, but this is a good way to start. Is I like to take my stick, drop it down at about a 45 degree angle. What this does is it gives me about a seven to eight inches away from the ball and allows me, it, it gives me a good reference on where I should put my foot. I tend to put my foot at about a 45 degree angle right at the ball. I then make sure my back foot is just wider than shoulder width apart and the ball of my foot is in line with my heel. The reason I do that is because in every face off, your first move is always going to be into the guy and at the guy. That's why this foot is pointed this way. You're going to, your first move, you're going to be moving this way. This foot is pointed straight because if you get the ball quick, you can pop out forward. And when you're facing off, you have a lot more, you have to use all your strength of your back leg going into that guy. Also, one last thing, make sure you're wearing cleats when you're facing off. It gives you the most amount of grip the last thing you want to be doing is slipping. So the last thing I want to show you guys is hand positioning. I touched on this a little bit before. But what you want to do is get your right hand as, hot, as close as you can to the plastic so you have the most amount of control and leverage on the stick. The second thing is you want to have your back hand, your left hand, about shoulder width apart. And the way you can kind of tell that is hold this stick straight down and then drop your left hand straight down. So your hands are going to be about you know, 14, 15 inches apart. It'll be a little wider as you get older. But again, shoulder width apart is a good uh, reference. So all in all, what you're going to do is have, your hand, have both your feet in the right spot, uh, foot about eight inches away from the ball, back left foot in line with your heel, and then what you're going to do is drop down. What you need to make sure you do is you have your hands in front of your feet, and that's part of the reason why we have our foot pointed. Again, you can twist it whichever way you want, but when you drop down, you're going to drop, you're going to bend at your knees right? Not at your back. You don't want to be high up like this, right? You want to be low because again, it's like football. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard low man wins. So the lower you are, the more explosive you are going to be off your first move. So again, it should look like this. Hand at the top, close as I can to the plastic, back hand about shoulder width apart, and just drop them down.